ChatGPT5 release date confirmed? OpenAI just dropped a huge clue. If you've been paying attention to the world of artificial intelligence, you already know how fast things are moving. From game-changing breakthroughs in language models to AI-generated art, the pace is almost impossible to keep up with. But today, we might have something truly massive on our hands. OpenAI might have just dropped a major clue about the release date of ChatGPT5, and if the signals are right, we could be looking at a launch sooner than anyone expected. What does this mean for the future of AI? Will ChatGPT5 redefine how we work, learn, and create? And most importantly, how credible is this leak? In this video, we're diving deep into the details OpenAI didn't intend to make obvious, but we caught them. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know when ChatGPT5 might drop, but also how it's likely to change everything you thought you knew about AI. Before we jump in, I want to drop some quick value right up front. A lot of people ask, why does each new version of ChatGPT matter? Think about this. Each leap from GPT-2 to GPT-3 to GPT-4 hasn't just been a simple upgrade. These jumps have expanded the model's reasoning, its creativity, and even its ability to understand human nuance. The version leap from GPT-4 to GPT-5 isn't just another step. It could be a transformation in the way we interact with machines. If you're excited about AI and want to stay ahead of the curve, now's the time to like and share this video. It helps us reach more curious minds and keeps the channel growing. Thanks for the support. Let's talk clues. The first major hint about GPT-5's timeline came directly from OpenAI CEO Sam Altman during a recent private event at MIT. While he didn't outright say the words, chat GPT-5 is coming on this date, he made some very interesting statements. He confirmed that OpenAI has been training what he called the next frontier model and that it's progressing faster than expected. He mentioned that this new model is being trained on a scale never before seen, and that's a huge signal. Why is that important? Because training a model at that scale takes serious time and compute. In past versions, when we've heard about large-scale training, release followed in about six to nine months. So if that same pattern holds, and considering Altman's comments were made a few months ago, we could realistically expect GPT-5 to launch between August and October this year. That would line up perfectly with OpenAI's usual cadence of fall releases. But there's more. OpenAI recently updated several internal job listings, one of which specifically mentioned optimization for next-gen large language models. If that doesn't scream GPT-5 development, I don't know what does. The language in those listings has shifted from exploratory AI to deployment-focused language, suggesting that GPT-5 is past research and moving into refinement and rollout stages. Now, here's something even more compelling. A select group of enterprise-level OpenAI partners has reportedly been given early access to a mystery model that outperforms GPT-4 by a significant margin. These rumors have been circulating in closed developer forums, and while OpenAI hasn't confirmed this directly, multiple engineers who've worked on API integrations say they've been testing something that feels dramatically smarter, faster, and more context-aware. So here's a question for you. What would GPT-5 need to do to feel like a true leap forward? Here's what we know might be on the table. First, persistent memory. One of the biggest complaints users have had with GPT-4 is that it can't remember past conversations unless you manually feed them in. GPT-5 is rumored to feature a dynamic memory system that learns over time, retaining key preferences and building a better contextual understanding. Imagine talking to your AI like it's your personal assistant who already knows your favorite writing style, your project details, and your goals without needing constant reminders. Second, Multimodal reasoning. While GPT-4 can process images through some plugins and limited functionality, GPT-5 is expected to have true multimodal fluency. That means handling images, text, audio, and even video in a single cohesive interface. You could upload a video and ask GPT to summarize it, analyze the lighting, transcribe the audio, and then suggest a better hook for your YouTube audience. All in one shot. Third, real-time adaptability. GPT-5 might feature fine-tuning on the fly. Let's say you're writing a story and you want the AI to match a particular tone. 
humorous, dark, or poetic. Instead of giving it prompt after prompt, GPT-5 could adjust mid-session based on a few stylistic cues. That's real-time learning, not just prediction. Fourth, enterprise integration. OpenAI has been quietly working with Microsoft to build deeper integrations into productivity tools like Office 365, Teams, and Dynamics. A GPT-5-powered copilot that isn't just reactive, but proactively assists you based on your calendar, your emails, and your project deadlines. That's the kind of next-gen assistance we're heading toward. And here's the big kicker. OpenAI recently renewed several massive GPU contracts with NVIDIA and other chip makers. These contracts include delivery dates that match up with what we've seen during previous model launches. That means infrastructure is being laid down right now to support what could be GPT-5's deployment at scale. So what can we expect the rollout to look like? Most likely, GPT-5 will follow a staggered access model. First, it'll launch in private beta to select partners. Then, OpenAI will integrate it with their premium ChatGPT Plus and Pro plans, just like they did with GPT-4. Eventually, we may see pieces of GPT-5 integrated into Microsoft Suite, potentially under the Copilot branding, as part of their ongoing partnership. But here's where it gets really interesting. OpenAI's recent trademark filing. A few weeks ago, eagle-eyed internet sleuths discovered a new trademark application by OpenAI for something called GPT-5 and GPT-5 Turbo. The timing of the filing lines up perfectly with past product launches, where trademarks were filed roughly three to five months ahead of public release. So when is the exact release date? While OpenAI hasn't officially confirmed a day, all signs point to a late Q3 or early Q4 release. That means between September and November. And given their pattern of high-impact announcements around their Dev Day events and industry conferences, we wouldn't be surprised if GPT-5 drops just before or during one of those. Now let's talk future. What happens after GPT-5? That might sound premature, but OpenAI is already laying the groundwork for next-gen foundational models beyond 2025. This includes integrations with robotics, advanced reasoning agents, and even emotional modeling in AI. We're moving toward AI that doesn't just mimic intelligence. It starts to understand human nuance at a deep level. If all this sounds both exciting and a little overwhelming, you're not alone. We're standing at the edge of the next great technological leap. And ChatGPT5? It might be the model that pushes us into the next era. So, what do you think? Are you ready for GPT-5? What feature are you most excited about or even nervous about? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear how you think this next wave of AI will change your world. If you got value from this video, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates. We're tracking everything happening in the AI space, and you'll be the first to know when news breaks. Stay curious, stay informed, and I'll catch you in the next one.